the next visa type is the startup visa. Now, what's important to understand here is that there is no such thing as a startup visa. What you have is a business investment visa as an entrepreneur that I've just discussed. Um, and you've got this thing called the startup. And the way it works is because the immigration department were kind of coming under a little bit of fire a couple of years ago how to accommodate the concept of a startup within the business investment visa as an entrepreneur. They engaged in a stakeholder consultation exercise and um, they took on board what the stakeholders had to say about startups and how to accommodate them and they came up with something that was very pragmatic. What they did was they said, okay, you can be an entrepreneur and a business investment visa applicant as an entrepreneur and you put together all your paperwork. It doesn't matter how strong or how weak that paperwork is. As long as it's all there, if you can be accepted into one of these programs which are government accredited incubator startup type programs, if you can get accepted onto one of them, then you get to tick this box on the application form and you get to tick this box and put a copy of the acceptance letter onto those, one of those programs and you're favorably considered, so it means you're automatically approved. So what the Immigration Department have done is they've shifted away the, the due diligence requirement to assess startup capabilities to make a substantial contribution to the economy of Hong Kong. They've shifted it onto the purveyors or the managers of these programs figuring that if they can get onto one of these programs, that's good enough for the immigration department. And so you get to tick this box and you're home and host. So I have nothing more to say about the startup visa because it's not about immigration. It's about getting accepted onto one of these programs. Uh, and there are resources on our website that is a 13-page crib sheet where we've summarized all of these programs for you so they're all in one place to see whether you can qualify or not. But that's the startup visa and it was, it was quite quite interesting because when uh, the startup visa was first announced, the startup community was really, really excited by it. They thought it was going to solve all their problems. But when, you know, the dust settled on the realities behind the program and understanding that it was about getting accepted onto these programs, uh, there was a lot of disappointment. But that's the startup visa.